Format 31, I had a question coming out of section 9.3, number 53. And here we were asked to find the first, not first, excuse me, the fifth term of a geometric sequence. And whenever I hear a geometric sequence, two pieces of information that are always nice to have are R, the common ratio, and A sub 1. And based on what they gave me, I can actually see A sub 1 right here. That's equal to B. So that's great. I have that aspect, but I'm missing R. And if I, oops, if I want to find R, it's always a common ratio. So you can take A sub 2 and put it in ratio to A sub 1. Or I could take A sub 3 and put it in ratio to A sub 2. I opted in this case to use the smaller ones. I, I'm going to do A sub 2 in ratio to A sub 1. And when I do that, you see that I'm getting 4. I also, just for fun, did A sub 3 in ratio to A sub 2. And you still get that common ratio is 4. That's the whole point, that it, it's constant, that ratio, that ratio between your current term and your previous term. So now that I have r equaling 4, I'm asked to find the fifth term of the sequence. And we have this sequence formula here for a geometric sequence. So for the n value, I'm going to plug in 5. right? And then we know the a sub 1 value. We just found that. That was b. okay? And it's fine that we have a letter. The formula still applies. And then for the r value, we knew r was 4. So that's what you see me plugging in at this step. And then when I crunch all of that out, I get 256B, and that's the fifth term in my sequence. All right, thanks so much, everyone. Bye.